You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Kyler versus Mills, Gonzalez, and Torado. Thank you, Jerome. Hello. Good day, everyone. Miss Kyler, you've brought your mother to court in hopes of finally finding out which of the two men in these photographs is your biological father. You claim it's been a lifelong mystery mm -hmm. and you hope it will end today. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Mills, you argue that you're certain you know which of these two cousins is your daughter's father. But you say her doubts have torn the entire family apart. Yes. Now, Ms. Kyler, tell the court, how did your doubts begin? Uh, my doubts began as a child, around five years old. Um, my mother telling me that Mr. Barrows was my father. He lived right upstairs from us, but he had another family. He would not acknowledge me. Um, I did grow up with a stepfather up until age 10, but I just knew that the man upstairs, my mother told me uh, Mr. Barrows was my father. And you see him almost every day. Every day. And he never acknowledges you. Right. Wow. Also, when I was younger, there was an incident of his girlfriend going back to her children and his nieces and nephews saying that, oh, that's not her father. She said that and they came back and told me, oh, Eric's not your dad. So I was very upset about that. So I ran and took my best friend to my mom's room. And I remember she had court documents about um, the DNA testing between Mr. Barrows and my mother and myself. So I showed that to my best friend. I was like, look, he is my father. Wow. Also, I remember him taking me to the corner store when I was a little girl. He said, I wanted you to take a walk with me. And he told me, I don't know if I'm your father or not. So that put doubt in my head. He said, I don't know if I'm your father right. or not. He doesn't know. And what other involvement um, did you have He paid child him? support. He paid child he paid support? paid child support, yeah. For your entire life? My entire life. Ms. Mills. Yes. So you told your daughter, the man upstairs, that's your biological father? Yeah, I told her because we moved into an area where her dad's family was living at. So I knew when we moved down there around her grandmother, her aunts and them, that she was going to run into her dad because I was always accepted by his mother and his siblings. So when you say her dad, you mean Mr. Barrows? Yes. You were accepted by his family? Yes. But he never acknowledged her? I, no. was, I was accepted by his family as well, but just not him. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why is that? He was paying the support. When I had Lori, me and Mr. Barrows were together, and he had an affair on me when she was like a few months old. So I got angry at him, threw him out my house, saying, I want nothing to do with you, and I took him to court for child support. When we went to court, he had a choice to take the test or not take the test. The judge told him that. The judge looked at my daughter, looked at me, looked at him, and the judge says, from what I'm seeing right here with this baby, this child looks exactly like you. So either you're gonna pay for the test or not. Either way, if you don't, we're gonna grant her child support, which the judge did grant me child support because he never took the test. Your Honor, I actually went down to the courthouse this earlier this year. I wanted to see if there's proof if there's a test done. And they told me I couldn't see the, see the um, file because it was sealed. The only person who could see it was Mr. Barrows or my mother. When I told my mother that, she went back and told my sister, why is she doing this? Why is she bringing this up? He's dead, she needs to let it go. Like, how can I let something like this go? I don't even know who my father is. Well, why did you wait till he died to want to do this? Why did you wait until I'm 30 years old and never get it done? Uh, excuse me, y'all ain't gotta clap. Y'all ain't gotta clap. You, you lie, my, mom, you lie. You guys Lori, 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 you You're know what? You're a liar. What? You didn't have relationship with him. You had relations with him. You're a liar, mom. Come on, he didn't live with us. Jane, I didn't say he my, lived with you. you. You said you had a relationship, you kicked him out. My sister said he never even lived with us. How would Jenny know? She, you know, were she born remembers to everything. She was born in 84. She, she remembers was everything. Years old. She remembers everything. Okay. So, okay. Ms. Mills, when you tell your daughter the man upstairs is your father and she knew he was paying child support for at least a part of her life, was there any other man that could potentially be her father or you knew for certain he was her father? I knew for certain he was her father. It's hard for me to believe that, okay. believe her story when there were doubts and questions about who all of our fathers were, so... How was that? How do you know? Hello, I talked to his family. Who family? Mr. Barrow's family. How would they know? Who? Because you ran, you hang with them. They were your best friends. <sighs> they were not my best friend. They lived okay? with you. I just need to get a basic understanding. If he was paying child support 
Why was there no involvement in her life at all and he was right upstairs? That's his doing. It had nothing to do with me. Well, wait, my actually, it does. If you that, made no, the no, child no, with no. him, it has something to do with you. That's... And that's why I'm asking you, why would a man live upstairs from a beautiful little girl, pay child support, but never acknowledge her? And if he was here, I would ask him, but I can't. So I need to ask you. You say the family acknowledged you, the family even acknowledged her. Why not him? Because I took him to court for child support. He was angry about that. He didn't want them to attach his check. He didn't want to pay child support for her. You feel like he was angry at you for taking him to court for the child support? Yes. Now I'm starting to understand part of the story. Miss Kyler, you also were close with his daughter. He yeah. had a daughter living yeah. right upstairs. Now, did you two acknowledge each other as sisters? Not at that point, no. She didn't want to accept that he might have had another child. When I was a teenager, we actually saw each other again, and since then, we've really claimed each other as sisters. You have. Mm -hmm. So, Jerome, I'd like to meet this young woman. Please escort Miss Gonzalez into the courtroom. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Hi, ma'am. I'm gonna have you come up here and sit right next to the judge of the witness stand. Uh -huh. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Please state your name for the court. Chastity Gonzalez. Miss Gonzalez, you are Mr. Barrow's biological daughter. Yes. When you see this young woman, do you regard her as your sister or an acquaintance? She's my sister. My father paid child support for her for 19 years. She's my sister. And you remember her? Mm hmm And growing up, what did he tell you about Miss Kyler? I mean, I started hearing rumors when I was about six that I had a potential sister because we lived in the same complex. Um, you know, I was kind of jealous in the beginning because I was his only daughter, so... I approached him about it, and he said it wasn't true. He always said it wasn't. He wasn't the father. Always told you? Always. Up until the time of his death, he said, this was not my child. Yep. And yet you knew he was paying child support? Yep. For I, her? Mm hmm I actually brought that up to him again when we ran into each other again, um, our teenage years, and I said, wait a second, but you're paying child support for a child that's not yours. I mean, that's kind of confusing, you know? And he's like, well, you know, I don't want you to open up a can of worms because, you know, it's gonna come out that I'm not the father and I'm, her mother's gonna have to pay all that money back. Your Honor, that's another reason why I think my mother wanted me to, to keep this hush-hush. I think she was happy that he passed away with me not knowing that he was my father or not. That if he was not the father, maybe that she had to pay that money back. So maybe she might be relieved that he's gone. Mm -hmm. I can't really speak about their relationship because I wasn't there, but I knew that in the neighborhood, Miss Mills was very promiscuous and she had been around uh, with a lot of people. So I didn't know, I didn't know. So maybe your father wasn't being honest with you? I did, I did feel like my father wasn't being honest. So that's why it's 50-50 that we feel like maybe we might be sisters or we might not be because I feel like the people that's responsible in this whole situation is the adults because true. I don't think that this should have had any evidence to share with the court? Well, the reason I do think, you know, she might be my sister is because, you know, my whole family, we all have psoriasis. My father has psoriasis. You know, we mm -hmm. get it all spots, all different kind of spots. Um, and Miss Kyler, do you also have psoriasis? You do? I went to the doctor. She said it was just a, um, a skin virus. So when you hear about Miss Kyler also contending with some type of skin thing, you yeah. like that rings a bell to me. It did. What else do you have in terms of evidence? Um, for the court? I don't know. I think that, you know, Ms. Kyler and my father, I think they have the same eyes. I think that we have the same eye shape. What else do you have, ma'am? I also have his obituary, and her name is not listed on the obituary. They did not list Ms. Kyler as a child that, that he hurt. left behind. That hurt. That hurt a lot. No. Even at the a funeral, I felt some type of resentment from his other kids, like, we're his kids, and she's not. I, I just felt that way. I mean, that had to feel off. <laughs> I've just been told um, different stories um, from his sister that my mother was sleeping with his cousin. That's why he had doubts. So that's why I still have doubts. I don't know. 
Did you ask your mom? Earlier this year, I asked her, I said, why did my father have, why did Mr. Barrows have doubts? And she said she did sleep with someone prior to him. And I asked her, what's his name? And she said, she told me Esteban Torado. I'm like, Esteban Torado, like, and she was uh, best friends with his wife. She slept with him. I don't understand. It was just so confusing. It was so a shocker. I but dated Esteban when I was a teenager. Me and his two sisters stayed best friends, even after me and him broke up. His mother, his whole family, we all stayed friends. His kid's mother knew I had nothing to do with him. I knew I didn't have nothing to do with him, and there was no way in hell that he's her father. Come on. You say there's no way. No way. But, Miss Kyler, in your mind, you feel like Mr. Torado is a possibility yeah, because of the stories you've been told. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Stories. Yeah. Other people are stories. She believes everybody there's except a... for me, and I'm her mother, and I'm you. like... Because her stories are not valid. Unfortunately, Mr. Torado is deceased, but his daughter is here. Jerome, will you please mm -hmm. escort Miss Torado into the courtroom, and Miss Gonzalez, you may have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I can see it's just breaking you down. So you feel like when you look at this picture, you see more of your face. He has a long face. I have a long face. Well, I just, I really don't know. Hi, Ms. Toronto. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here today. You are Mr. Toronto's daughter. Daughter, yes. Biological daughter. Yes. You grew up knowing Ms. Mills. Mills as my aunt. She was your aunt. Yes. Her and my aunt was best of friends. My mom, my dad, everybody all grew up as brothers and sisters. I can't because if I was in her position, I would want to know who my dad is too. Mm -hmm. But I am so upset that Mrs. Mills, my dad, my mom, my aunt, everyone grew up as sisters. Mm -hmm. We're all in our 30s. It mm -hmm. should have not took to this point. That's what I'm saying. Ms. Mills, you contend you didn't sleep with Mr. Toronto. Not since we were teenagers. So you're saying you did sleep with him, but well, it wasn't how you the, during sleep the... with your own family as He's teenagers. not my family. <laughs> but you grew up knowing us as telling us we're family. I don't understand that, Ms. Mills. Uh, Why I would was, you do this? I grew up as cousins, but that was before you was born, any of you was conceived. He treated my kids as his nieces and nephews, and I treated his kids the same way. When I dated your father, we were teenagers. Because we had a past relationship, that don't mean we couldn't be friends. Like, why y'all didn't resolve this a long time ago? Why yeah. is it that he's yeah. going 14 years and Mr. Barrows is going, I don't know how many years now, and we're all, why is this, wasn't this resolved a long time this ago? This wasn't supposed to, to be us and doing then, this. this and actually, doing all this. actuality, I should not have found this out on Facebook. My family Wait, neither. What, what do you have here? I have something that was posted on Facebook. Mrs. Gonzalez inboxed me on Facebook. But not only yes, that, I did. Someone, You're right. someone else in the family yeah, put I, a, a post on Facebook. That I don't know who else in the family. I don't know who else in the family put something up. I get an inbox from I, her. I inboxed you because I didn't know what other way to get in contact with you. But it's That's not why I'm job. trying to help her. It's You're but right. Her but she right, wasn't ladies, able to do it. Ladies, I'm trying to help her. Ladies. Ladies, I think it's time to get the results. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Kyler v. Mills Gonzalez, Toronto, Mrs. Kyler, your 29-year wait <laughs> is over. The deceased, <laughs> Mr. Barrows, <laughs> was not your biological <laughs> father. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Okay, honey, you need to sit down before I go to the next envelope. You said Mr. Barrows was not my father? No, ma'am, he is not. Are you ready for the next result? Okay. Okay. 
in light of this result, I'd like to adjourn court right now and I'd like to review them with you in my chambers. Court is adjourned. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Ladies, I wanted to meet you in my chambers to go over this next set of results because, quite frankly, this is the first time this has ever happened, and I know how emotional this is for both of you. The results for this particular testing between you, Ms. Tirado, and yourself, Ms. Kyler, the results were inconclusive, and they need to do more reconstructive work to be able to identify whether or not you all share a biological father. And just so you understand this, I have a statement from Dr. Baird from DNA Diagnostics that, that will help you. He's the chief science officer there. Please look right over here. Regarding the siblingship analysis between Ms. Kyler and Mr. Rado, our laboratory is still working to determine results. When DNA testing is done to determine a biological relationship, Sometimes it takes a long period of time to determine whether or not there is a biological relationship and it requires additional testing or extended testing. DDC wants both Ms. Kyler and Ms. Torado to know that we will do everything that we can to determine if there is a biological relationship and do whatever it takes to get the results scientifically. So it just means that it's going to take longer? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the court will be in touch with you as okay. soon as we have those answers. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know I understand how difficult this is, and I'm so proud of you. You're a brave young lady. And Thank I know you. that wasn't the answer you wanted today, no. but you waited this long for the truth, and I want you to know we're going to do everything we can to get it for you. You're going to be you. able to do it. We'll be in touch, all right? Thank you. Give me a hug.